feasibility i need to see what is the what is the feasibility means feasibility means is that a bank lined up into how many applications typically a bank has any guesses the number of applications you manage on technology applications 300 400 plus in multinational bank barclays and lloyds it will be 2000 3000 so as you keep on growing you keep fragmenting the growth and fragmentation are assumed solution that's how the banks have grown over the period of time rather than looking customer in the center second is for each new application what is the next complexity at the data for that application is different because you buy that app you create a new application and you create a new data model so one customer sits in how many data model typically one customer will have how many copies of that customer record so 10 15 copies to hogi na kam se kam 10 15 copies of same customer and when the call comes to somebody one data is updated second data is not updated that's the operation problem is and then he gets upset then you cool him down if he is a premium customer then somebody has to say no 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 it's a simple problem we are not updated he said i have updated in two system why you are asking third system to be updated it doesn't go automatically so different data models because you are buying the technology is from different vendors and different vendors bring their own data model every solution comes with a new data model and then within the bank siloed operations so there is a sme operations team this team so there is a siloed operation so these are the complexity the real real current reality of any banking technologies are there so what sanjeev put a painted a picture of beyond banking the issue of current banking itself is not sorted out beyond banking comes in next stage of solving the problem desirability can be addressed by unified architecture if i have a unified architecture somehow i don't know how to start and where to start and everybody is a dream that i should have a unified architecture again it's a dream state or say end state you by unifying the architecture it can be somewhat solved better the way bank used to have a multiple corporate offices they start consolidating and creating a one big architecture where you create a department where they can collaborate better similarly technology architecture could be consolidated or there could be some different ways of doing it we'll discuss what possibilities are there and what technologies we have observed second is i can do it by composing the solutions rather than buying the products composing means i have a basic algorithms available and those basic algorithm i start putting a micro which we call micro services which are available i can start composing it so my thinking process will be very different for composability and then i will build up those application could should be contextual to the customer so they are so if i say tamil nadu contextuality or a jharkhand complex contextuality or a small sme contextuality to the large sme or big big corporate contextuality how do i build in application and then it has to be supported by enterprise grade technology the challenge is enterprise grade enterprise grade is that when there are so many moving parts your grade backbone has to be enterprise grade in terms of security in terms of performance the risk of security on cloud is so high it's extremely extremely high one small error can have a brand reputation risk of the bank one is a financial risk financial risk is still people can recover the money after some time but the brand risk is phenomenally high on security 
performance risk. That enterprise great quality requires another important element. 